Hello everyone, this is Elwin with Nephi 7 back in the episode of Flower Summer. Boy, I wonder what's making more fireworks, the steps in here or the steps outside? Yeah, fireworks going off earlier, so I didn't re record yet. Where did it all start? In the backlog. I don't know why you triggered that. The Sleeping Beauty. Boasted that she had completely mastered the basic dances, and of course she had. That's probably why she proposed adding in some higher level moves to further wow the audience. I understand the desire to go above and beyond, but... It's not like I'm saying we should make them do the 32 poets from Swan Lake. So, it's the middle of summer. They can't physically handle it. Someone will pass out. Every performer knows their own limits, although you probably wouldn't understand that not being able to dance yourself. Yeah, thinking back on now, that must have been the start of it. Even Chidori must have realized her own thoughtlessness. She ignored the gas of my classmates as they clustered around us. I left the classroom, her face deathly pale. My eyes don't register any color. The sky peeking through the window is white. The forest is an undulating ocean of deepest black. The walls are gray and cold. Cold? No. Well, my body and mind are burning hotter than they ever have before. And the pulsing fires in my heart being further fueled by regret. I've never felt like this before. I said something cruel and thoughtless that I can acknowledge, but I made fun of her countless times before. Why is it that this time my heart feels like it's being crushed? So saturated is it with the ache of regret? I let a long sigh as though to expel the heat swirling around within me. I'll go back. I don't know what she's feeling right now, but I have to apologize. My vision friends to blur. Press my fingers hard against my eyelids before setting off back to our room. Ah, the princess returns at last. As soon as I hear Erica's teasing tone. The color returns to my world. And as the color warms my cold outlook, the tension leaves my body and the raging heat inside me calms, no longer threatening to erupt. Um, Erika? Um, Erika? I told you before, I don't feel sorry for myself. I really don't care. So, Nano? Really? I linger in the doorway, not having the courage to look at her. She goes on an unexpectedly cheerful voice. I told the others that it's a long-running argument between us. So don't worry about them. Have you finished with your temper tantrum? Right, the more I realize she thinks I got angry over a clash of opinions over ballet, I'm relieved in a very real sense. Because I know that she wasn't hurt by what I said, that I didn't hurt her. I've been afraid to look at her until I heard those words of absolution. 
But now as I peel myself away from the door frame, I make my way into the room. I'm fine now. Sorry for... I finally take a proper look at my Avante partner, smiling her cat-like smile. I freeze in my tracks when I see that Sister Basque is standing beside her. Uh. Huh? What's the matter? She's here to help me bathe, just as usual. まさか。プライベートの話を聞かれて恥ずかしいとか、めめしいことを言うんじゃないだろうな。you're not going to say something precious about how totally embarrassing it is that someone heard you say that, are you? She smirks at me, but rather than someone hearing our private conversation, I'm more concerned about... Why is this woman so special? You know that she's drawn all these boundaries around herself and resolved to let no one cross them. Why is Sister Basquiat allowed in? I can't let her open her heart to anyone but me. I feel a flame burning inside me even fiercer than when I am challenging myself to pull off a difficult move in ballet. Hey, what the heck are you giving me the evil eye for? I like the president she goes all crazy with jealousy. Think about it. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't. Anyway, since we kissed and made up, I'm gonna go take a bath. I know Sarah's fingers brush Sister Basquiat's hands, which are wrestling familiarly on the handles of her wheelchair, and. Wait. And let's move their own accord. What is it now? Don't tell me you want all three of us to ba go bathe together. No, not all three of us. You and me. Miss Takasaki? My auntie partner looks dumbfounded while Sister Basquiat is regarding me with suspicion. I put forth my opinion with far more passion than is usual for me. We're Amite partners. I already assist you with everything outside of bathing. It's nothing that I'm shocked about. Sure. That makes sense, but until now we haven't. Basquiat could fall ill or get injured after all, just recently. A few days before a birthday party? Something happened, didn't it? I'm referring to whatever happened a few days before Erica's revelation about the truth behind the Hookman incident. For some reason, the two of them share an awkward look. Something stirs inside me at the thought that they share some kind of secret. So, yeah. Yes. That's true. It wouldn't be good for her to have no one to rely on in the event that something should happen to me. Uh. It's perfectly logical. Come on, let's go take a bath together. My auntie partner signals to me with a smile and I walk over to her. You're not going to give me the kind of treatment they get in one flow of the cuckoo's nest, are you? He says something incomprehensible and for some reason pulls an exaggerating expression of fear. You know, I'm the one who suggested this whole thing. 
I find myself extremely embarrassed when it comes time to undress her. I help her get dressed in our room, so I shouldn't have any issues undressing her here, and yet... Don't be so rough. You'll crease my clothes. The girl allows me to undress her, seemingly unbothered by the whole thing, then goes over to the washing area. And she's washing herself. I can do my front. You just take care of my back and legs. She orders me about as casually as if she were asking me to pick something up from the store. She has no idea just how nervous I am. How hard I'm struggling to calm my racing heart. Then... Hold on to my hand properly. It says in a voice today is not on a violin as she takes a firm hold of my hand. That's actually very cute. That's a moment. I never imagined I'd be taking a bath together with you like this. I don't like it. No way, that's not it. She answers with a boyish smile. I'm just saying, it's pretty impressive when I think back to how things were when we first met. The gaze grows nostalgic. The strong-willed, rigorous eyes of hers appear far gentler than usual. I find myself unable to meet them properly. You're surprisingly sensitive. Huh? What? I knew it. Those words cut me deep, you know. You said I wouldn't understand, being unable to dance myself. Is <coughs> this supposed to be a line? Uh... Uh, I can't let that go. I've lost trust in you. I feel like a fist is clenched around my heart. It's become hard to breathe. I think this could use a little bit more time in the fact-checking oven, but... The hand I'm used to support her trembles, and although I know I should say something, I find myself unable to. What should I... Is that what you want me to say? Uh, uh. Uh. I told you I wasn't bothered, but you're still acting like I am. That was just a little shock therapy. I'll say it again, I'm not bothered. Don't beat yourself up about it. Demo. But... She shakes her head slightly, cutting me off. It's worth having someone worry too much. I prefer your usual attitude. Let's put this behind us, buddy. Erica flashes me another cheerful boyish grin and my frozen heart thaws moved by her ki kindness. She squeezes my hand tight. I can't carry you, but I can carry it for you. Huh? Uh, 
He told me about those painful issues from your past that you keep buried down inside. A problem shared is a problem halved, right? The green eyes hold mine. I can feel something hot bubbling up from the base of my stomach. A tingling sensation spreading to my whole body. When I say nothing, she mutters, Is that too cheesy? I read this book. The brother, the brothers Karamazov. I finally heard her say it, so now I, I got the how to actually say it now. Then tells me about a novel she once read. Christ is best in the wilderness when the devil appears to tempt him. It is known as the temptation of Christ. The devil tests Christ by challenging him to perform a miracle and turn a stone into a loaf of bread. Christ reports that a man cannot live by bread alone, but in the brothers Karamazov, a different interpretation is put forward. The miracles are themselves the devil's work. Miracles of the devils? It probably isn't what the writer intended. That line about miracles being the devil's work is not kind of reassuring to me. I tell my head in confusion, she indicates me with a jerk of her chin, then points at herself. A miracle has occurred between us, but we don't believe in God. It's not like we pray properly. That, that's true. So miracles do happen. Erica asserts I return her smile at last. Oh, ho, you finally smiled. This unbelievable auntie partner of mine, still able to care about me and treat me with such kindness after I said all those thoughtless things. The feelings I had toward my underclassman, my only friend. Mr. Basquiat was concerned for you too. You should apologize to her later. Uh, the sudden mention of her name. The emotions that have been blossoming within me immediately wither and are replaced by a jealousy that threatens to tear my heart to shreds. Shito. Jealousy? Hmm? What was that? Nothing. I mutter, searching my heart for where that word had come from. Is it because I suspect Sister Basquiat might take my one and only friend from me? No, but... You're so weird. Seeing Erica grin sets my pulse racing like it never has before, and my heart swells a real sense of fullness. I want to see her smile more. I want to know more of her secrets. I want all of her. We're facing one another completely in the nude. It's only now that that fact truly hits me. What's wrong? You feeling dizzy? You can't handle hot baths? You should have said so from the start. I hope to look her in the face. I murmur my agreement to the concerned Erica. Erica. Blech. And I'm going to end the episode here because I'm feeling out of it. I hope you had fun and I'll see you on the next one. See you then.